Let's do this. What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. Welcome back to another fun video. It's just gonna be me, Next Ranker, and SB right here. We're gonna be showing you guys a really cool way on how to have fun at home with some household materials such as an oven mitt and some tennis balls. This is a very fun thing you guys can do at home. Isn't that fun, SB? We tried it out the other day, right? It's very fun, guys. We are coming up with ideas that I don't know how we think about them, you know what I'm saying? We are pretty much grabbing daily household materials and making something out of them. You know, sometimes we're that bored, so you know, we I, th I think, out. man, it's just that we grew up poor and we had to make something out of nothing, right? Yeah, I remember I used to play uh, with sticks, thinking they were little toy guns and stuff. That's how it was, man. If you guys are in the same situation where you just don't have the means to buy toys or just don't really have the money to like go out and get like the really expensive toys, then try these out guys, these are very fun. You won't waste a lot of money and you'll have a blast with your friends. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to create your own catching glove. It's like baseball pretty much, it's really fun. We tried it out at the park the other day and it worked, so that's why we're gonna show it to you guys. But guess what guys, there's a twist towards the end because we're gonna be turning this toy, this little fun activity, into a prank. Yup. And this guy's gonna be the guinea pig. I guess I'll be the guinea pig. Yep, we're gonna test out the prank and see if it works, which I'm sure it does. So stay tuned for that, guys. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel with the bell notifications turned on. Hit that thumbs up button, like that, guys. As many thumbs ups as you guys can give us. And check it out. All right, SB, let's start having some fun. You love baseball, right? Yes, I do. The best part about baseball is that I myself don't like batting. I love catching balls. Whenever a ball is thrown at me, I like catching them. And I do have my baseball glove, but if you don't have one, you can have a lot of fun with just an oven glove. These are oven mitts. Remember we went to a dollar store? How much were they? A dollar. A dollar. So we spent two dollars on these guys. He got one with a rooster and I got a plain one. So if you're left-handed or you're right-handed, you might need to switch it up. Since I'm right-handed, guys, I'm going to be using the glove on my left hand. SB, you're right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. So yours is going to be looking weird, but you're going to have to wear it like this. So this is going to be facing... On my left. Yeah, on your left. Yes, exactly. Right, cool. You know what's crazy? I do not like baseball. I mean, I don't like watching it, but I love playing it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that goes with a lot of sports, man. Like, uh, sometimes I won't watch them, but they're fun to play. Anyway, this is what you're going to need for this. You're going to need some Velcro and you're going to need some tennis balls. That's it. Now this Velcro right here, if you look at it, it's uh, sticky on one side and the Velcro is on the other side. Mm -hmm. So basically what we're going to do is peel off the screen and we're just going to put it right on the center. It's very sticky so make sure you get it right the first time. Just place it on like that. Look what happens when you wear latex gloves. They get stuck. All right, perfect. So now we have our first glove ready. And you guys can do this with multiple gloves. We're gonna put this right on the rooster's tail. That's pretty much it, guys. Let me show you how this works. So you get some tennis balls, guys. These are fuzzy, they're furry, and they stick to anything that's Velcro. So if you throw it, it'll stick on, right? Simple as that. It gives you the advantage when it comes to catching. So, SB, put this on. I'm gonna throw you the ball. You don't even have to do anything, man. The ball sticks on. Just like that. Simple, right? Oh, nice, yep. So you guys can have a lot of fun with this. Let's test it out. Let's get some distance between us and let's throw the ball. All right. All right, SB, you're about 10 feet away from me. I'm gonna throw you this ball. See if you're good at catching. I'm not gonna catch it. I'm gonna make the ball curl catch it by itself. Right. Yeah, that's very simple. Unless it's a big, long distance between you and the ball, then you definitely have to uh, get a grip on it. All right. But right now, the Velcro does all the work. So here it goes. That's easy, right? All I had to do is pull my hand out like this. All right, let me throw you some more. Boom! Let's go three for three, all right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Very easy, right? Look at that, guys. All right, let's do that again. Wow. Whoa, can you catch another one? Without yes, removing yes. that ball. I think so. I all right, let's, let's go for it. Uh, Whoa! Can you catch another one? Yes! SB, if you catch another one, I owe you a dollar. How about all right. that? Alright, guys, if SB catches this, go to his channel and subscribe to him. 
<laughs> Even if I don't catch it, go is <laughs> All right, SB, moment of truth. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> go subscribe to my channel, guys. I guess you earned it, guys, and you earned a dollar. Yes! Hey, SB, you take pennies? Heck no. All right, well, here's a dollar. It's missing a piece, but go for it. It's all yours. Right up in there, too. All right, let's see how good you are, SB. Alrighty. All right, guys, let's see how good really SB is. I'm upstairs and he's downstairs. Let's see if really? earlier was a fluke. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. What's Gucci? Think fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't see that coming, huh? Heck no. Guys, I'm gonna try to hit SB in the head. Oh! <laughs> Man, that was a close one. <laughs> I missed my target. I'm gonna try to get him again. SB. What? Think fast. Let's see how good your reflexes are, alright? Alright. Oh. Damn! Good job. Hey, throw me one, man. I wanna have some fun. Go! Oh! Ah, perfect catch. Throw me another one, SB. I'm ready. Wow! Oh! <laughs> one more, one more. Let's complete last, the hat trick. Last one. Do it. Oh! Huh? You're out, SB. All right, SB, throw me a fast one. No more kitty throws. Caught that? Caught it. All right, here goes another one. <laughs> hey, you threw me off there, man. <laughs> Just like that. If I catch this, you're going to give me the dollar back, all right? All right, but this one's going to be a little tricky, all right? Go for it. Give me your best shot. Give me my dollar. Give me my dollar. Ah oh, man. All right, pranksters. Next up, when you're having fun with your friends and family with this, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna be setting up a booby trap. Let me show you how. Now, if you do make this little fun activity at home, guys, I don't recommend this prank because you guys don't want to ruin anybody's fun. Sure, it'll be fun for you and it'll be funny for you, but your victim might not think so. But just in case you ever want to try this, I'm gonna show you guys. For this prank, you're gonna need a safety pin like this one, a water balloon, this is a yellow water balloon, just because it's similar to the yellow tennis balls that I have right here. We'll take care of the balloon in a minute, but first we're gonna set up the safety pin. So we're gonna open it up, have it in an L-shaped, like so, just like this, guys. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna cut off most of it, most of the tip, so it'll barely be sticking out. This is for two reasons. One, so that it's not visible, and the other one, so your victim does not get poked with it. So about this works right here, guys. Barely a tip sticking out. That is perfect. And then next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the other end of the safety pin. So this is what we're left with, guys. This, we're gonna put underneath the piece of Velcro that we already stuck to our glove. And it's so simple, guys. Just tuck it in underneath. Don't worry, guys. Your victim will not get poked. They will not know what this is. All right, perfect. Look at that, guys. You can barely see it, and you can only see it because I'm already pointing it out. You guys wouldn't know it's there, right? So that is perfect. So if they have their glove already, when they're not looking, swap it. Like, let's say they go to the bathroom or a water break or whatever. You swap it out with this glove that is booby-trapped, and then you throw them regular balls, first couple regular balls, and then you throw them a water balloon one, which would be this right here. See? Somewhat similar. They'll think it's a ball, and then once they attempt to catch it, it'll pop on their hand, and it might get them in the face. Who knows? So let's get SB to test this out for us. All right, SB, here goes. Let's do this. Woo! Go for their back. Let's do this. <laughs> you want another one? Yes. All right, well, this is what will happen when you swap out a regular tennis ball with a water balloon. You ready, SB? I'm ready to take the L. All right, you big loser, here goes. Let's do this. Oh. <laughs> and that's what's gonna happen, guys, when you booby trap that oven mitt. <laughs> yeah, I took the L today, man. Hey, let, let's, let's do another demo. I wanna see you get even more wet. You know what? I'm gonna let you wet me again just because it's hot 
It's hotter than hell outside. I got another balloon for you. Okay. You ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Again, man. That, guys, you keep repeating that, you'll have a lot of fun with your friends, your family. Honestly, I would do this on my mom just because it's almost Mother's Day and uh, it's pretty hot here in Arizona, so I'm sure she wouldn't mind that. Hey, SB, how was that water, man? Amazing, because Arizona is scorching it's hot. It's so hot, so guys. I don't mind getting wet. Overall, what did you like the most, though? Did you like playing with it or getting pranked by it? Hmm, well, playing with it, I guess. It's more fun, but if you guys can get a good laugh out of this by booby trapping it and having somebody fall for that prank, even better. I mean, if I prank somebody, then yes, I'll be loving that better. I'm, I'm pretty sure you love that. Oh, yeah, man. Anytime, any chance I get to prank you, it's a good day, honestly. It's a good day when I get to pull out a prank on anybody, guys. I'm a prankster, and that's what I do. So, SB, thank you for being my guinea pig today. You earned some subscribers, I hope. So go check out his channel, guys. Give him some love. He's trying to get a thousand subscribers. He's almost there. So go check him out. He's got a new video out today, right? Yes, there's a new video coming up today. So go check it out. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'll be seeing you pranksters in my next video. Peace. And look what happened. It caved in. The ketchup came out. Simple as that, guys. You make a mess. It might squirt on them. It's just a messy prank. And eventually, guys, it's gonna pop. <laughs> That's what happens. What else would you guys put inside before you start doing the aluminum ball challenge?